Those were fun. <laughs> Those were fun. Um, looking ahead to the future, um, I know that you want to continue to to do acting, uh, and I think I, I'm glad about that. But I want to. Th this is uh, also to to say that there's some producing in the in the cards. You have a production company that in the last you know, whatever we've had in 2019 already, just four or five weeks, has announced two first look deals, one for film with uh, Warner Brothers and one for TV with Amazon Studios just this week. That's a pretty big deal, and it means we'll be seeing, we'll be seeing not only you on screen, but uh, I imagine other projects that you're gonna be pushing from from behind. So tell us a little bit about that. I can't hold the smile back. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm excited, man. It's, it's been a, a dream of mine for a really long time and to kind of see things fall into place the way it has uh, the last couple of years have been, um, it's been incredible. Um, but yeah, for me, you know, controlling my own destiny uh, was, was very important to me, trying to find ways to, how do I build the ecosystem? You know, how do I build something that is gonna last a lot longer than my physical body or my career. You know, how do I set up, uh, you know, an environment to help other people win, uh, give other opportunities to actors, directors, writers, uh, you know, no matter, you know, producers, um, executives, uh, you know, whatever it is, I wanna kinda create that space for you for this kind of breed and, and kind of grow young talent and, and, and remind people the talent that exists that may not be getting those opportunities. Uh, so for me, uh, you know, Warner Brothers is, you know, a studio that, you know, has always kind of believed in me and, and championed, you know, my films, my projects, me personally, and, and to be able to kind of partner with them in, in a really big way, in, in the biggest way, you know, possible at this time meant a lot. And then also strategically, you know, you know, having Alana Mayo, who runs, runs my production company, who is amazing, and I'm so lucky to have her. Alana, I love you to death, wherever she is at. Uh, but to have her, you know, kind of quarterbacking like my whole operation meant the world meant the world to me and the company, and uh, being able to set up, you know, our TV deal with Amazon, uh, I thought was 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 another blessing. Uh, so to be able to, yeah, man, I come from TV background, you know, I, you know, I, I got into film, uh, and yeah, man, I like I kind of won it all, you know, I kind I kind of <laughs> won it all, but but. But honestly, and, and I want to work hard for everything that I get, you know, so I'm not, I'm not cutting any corners and, I, and I'm, I'm trying to put the time in. Thank you for this. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. It's been fun. Yeah. And now we have a little surprise. Please welcome Academy Award winner, Jamie Foxx. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Michael B. Jordan in the building. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up once again for this young man just starting out. I, I cannot tell you how exciting it was in the back to watch you grow up, <laughs> to see you with no mustache, you know, just a, just a naked little face with so much talent and to see how far you've gone in such a short period of time. Uh, looking at Fruitville Station, how you took our hearts. I, and and I, I went to see Fruitville Station with a young man by the name of Tyron Turner, who was the lead in Minister Society. When we went to see that movie, we were with some other guys who were just hard. I mean, you know, from the street, you know, you know, from, uh, you know, Southern California, you know, some of them didn't even have license and, and uh, social security numbers, if you understand what I'm saying. I mean, it was some, you know, some motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? And, and everybody was like, you know, we're not going to cry. Period. We not crying. I don't give a fuck what happened. We not crying. It's Michael B. Jordan. And as we watching that movie, and there was a certain scene in there where I didn't look, but I heard somebody go, Pfft. <laughs> and I looked over and Tyron and all of us were crying. Oh, 
And not only were we crying because you touched us in the performance, but we were excited that the younger of us was taking up the yoke and was making it provocative, was making it interesting, was making it sexy. <laughs> was making it sexy. <laughs> Michael is wearing a... <laughs> now, ladies, don't even trip. Y'all know y'all been waiting on that part. <laughs> Take it off! No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But what is exciting, and, and we'll, we'll look at it. She's like, do it for real, though. <laughs> okay, how many of you want to just come on up and just... Okay, we're not going to do that. Listen, listen. Look, this is the older lady right there. Your grandma's like, I'll come get him. I'll come take care of him. I come take care of him. I take care of him. I, I cook him a meal. <laughs> you know, that's that season love. I cook him a meal. All these little young girls can't do nothing. They can't cook no meal. Look at you like, that's right. <laughs> Red beans and rice. Okay, all right, all right. All right, uh, give it up for Oprah, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan! I, 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 want, I want to say this. It looks good coming from you. The decisions that you've made and what you laid in the groundwork of Fruitville Station and then to take that DNA and put it into Black Panther, a huge hit, but you brought so much integrity. You made us walk different. You made us feel better about ourselves, whether you were black, white, red, or brown, you made us feel something. And, and I told you, that's something very hard for the antagonist to do. That was something that I would have to put you at number one because you had so many layers to it. And ladies and gentlemen, all I can tell you is that look out for him uh, with his production companies and what he's doing. Uh, we were able to break bread together in a movie together called uh, Just Mercy. And, <laughs> And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to say this, he cares beyond the good looks, beyond uh, the, the, the muscles, if we could say. <laughs> beyond that, what he cared about was cinema. What he cared about is, is getting it right. And when we were working on Just Mercy, I'm going to say this, um, he plays a, a young lawyer who, um, he does an incredible job, I'm, I'm not going to tell him the whole thing, he does an incredible job in this movie as a young, as a young lawyer. But I'm gonna talk about the mechanics of the scene. He was able to, as a producer, bring some of the greatest actors you've ever seen, whether you know their names or not, everybody was a juggernaut. There was a situation where he was so gracious, he had to do a long scene. It was a long scene in the courtroom. But he was so gracious, he said a couple of lines and he flubbed a line. And he went, oh, oh man, oh, sorry guys, sorry, 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 sorry. All right, all right, let's go, all right, let's go, let's go. <laughs> he did it again, he said, oh, sorry, uh, I apologize, I apologize, I apologize. And at one point, I leaned over to him, I said, hey, you don't have to apologize for anything. You put this all together. We here for you. You take your time. You do your thing. All of these guys right here is making sure you put it together. Make sure you get your vision out. Something happened. They say action. Slayed it. <laughs> After he slayed it, because we were in the courtroom and the people that were the extras in the courtroom, he got a standing ovation. He was... There's things that happen in our job where we're going to act and we act. And then sometimes the spirit of what we're acting for touches you and you can see it. When he finished, when he finished acting, and I'm supposed to be, you know, reserved, I was like, oh my God, he just killed this. <laughs> and I went to say something to you, I went to touch you, you did like this. 
And he walked out for a minute to get, to get yourself together. And I texted him, I said, listen, I, te- I pulled out my phone and texted you while you walked out and said, I just wanna let you know that you just did something so incredible. And the ladies in the fourth row went from talking about how great you were to how, how great looking you were to how simply great you were. So he's got something coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, give it up. Michael B. Jordan. Congratulations. You guys want to do the actual handoff? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the I got my glasses. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the 34th. You want to say that? <laughs> La- I got that part. Ladies and gentlemen, to one of our to one of our juggernauts on his way to being one of the most incredible actors, producers, overall badass uh, in the world. The Cinema Vanguard Award goes to Michael B. Jordan. Man, this is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Jamie, thank you so much for these words, man. Like, you know, coming out here. And I know you're busy, man. I know you're getting crazy busy, but I appreciate you saying those kind words, man. It's, um, I want to thank the Santa Barbara uh, International Film Festival for, you know, being a supporter of mine and, and encouraging me and, you know, and, and, and having my back, you know, very early in the game. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, Roger, thank you guys so much for, for being here. Scott, appreciate you so much. Um, all the staff, everybody that came out, you know, tonight, thank you guys so much for, um, for this. This is... Two to kind of be a part of uh, this elite group of uh, recipients of this prestigious award, it, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty crazy. Nah, it's pretty crazy. So I, I just want to, I want to say thank you. Honestly, thank you so much. And I, I'm, not, I'm not good with this public speaking stuff, so I kind of, I kind of got a little, little something writ- written up. Um, you know, my birthday's coming up. Uh, uh, I wasn't fishing for, I promise I wasn't fishing for that. Um, my, my birthday is coming up on Saturday and I'm turning 32. And for me, I can vividly remember when I was 14, 15 years old, you know, shooting the wire. And from, you know, I, I never dreamed, I, I never dreamed that I would be here. I never dreamed that this was going to be my life. I never wanted to be an actor growing up as a kid. It was just me kind of figuring it out as I, as I, um, as I grew, as I experimented, as I took risks, as I, as I failed. Um, and my goals have always been changing. There's always, they've, they've always been evolving because um, I've been checking them off, you know, at an alarming rate, you know, and God has been giving me the things that I really want. So, so to kind of be up here now, it makes me kind of reassess the things that I really want and the things that I want to achieve. And, you know, this award makes me really think about family, about challenges, about legacy, about being honest with the work that I want to do. And I was able to be a part of two really very important films this year. Uh, one in, 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 in Creed, where you see a lead character of a person of color become inspirational, you know, to all walks of life. And for me to be that character, to be able to deliver that to you guys is an honor, and I'm completely humble. Um, 
to be able to be a part of Black Panther that, that helped shift the way we tell stories, um, historically b breaking b boundaries and glass ceilings and stereotypes, um, not just in the box office, but culturally speaking, you know, in our communities, in our homes, uh, it, it's something that I don't take, I don't take lightly. Um, I'm humble. My production company, I want to be a reflection of who I am in, in my career. You know, Outlier Society is something that I've always kind of I dreamed about that I wanted to manifest as soon as I had the idea that I can be more than an actor, that I, that I, that I enjoy connecting people from different walks of life, that I enjoy, you know, telling stories that may not, you know, get the opportunities to be seen on the big screen or, you know, at home on, on you know, on television. You know, after watching all these these clips and, and, and hearing all the words of encouragements and thinking about thinking back to like my family, my mom, my dad, and, and my, my agents and, and my, my attorney, because anybody that works with me or works around me, you know, it's a family environment. But just just hearing hearing their voices and seeing their faces made me think about my commitment. Um, I'm not in this for fame, I'm not in this for the attention. You know, I'm really trying to create a blueprint to show people that if you're good and you and you are, you're good-hearted and you do the right thing, that you can be successful. You know that you can hold yourself to a higher standard, and you don't have to like cut corners. You know, there's no there's no substitute for hard work, and 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 you don't have to do it by yourself. You don't have to do it alone. You know, you surround yourself with people that believe in your vision, that are like-minded, that are like-hearted, and you know, you'll be surprised at, at, at where that will take you. Um, so I'm on this stage, I want to make a commitment um, for my company to continue to tell stories and produce film, films and, and television shows that represent all of us, that represent the, the human, um, the human experience, and continue to give opportunities in front of the camera and behind the camera of all walks of life, you can, you can guarantee that for me moving forward. So I just want to say, you know, thank you. Um, yeah, I just want to say thank you, you know, one more time to, you know, my, my incredible team, you know, uh, you know, Greg, 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 wherever you're at, man, we're here, you know, it's my guy. Uh, you know, Phil's son, Alana Mayo's here, um, my dad, uh, Roger and Cohen, you know, Jamie Foxx, everybody that had a hand in my journey thus far, I just want to say thank you, and that means everybody that's sitting in this audience, so I just want to say I appreciate you guys, and thank you. Yeah, it's, it's special. You're going to pray for me. <laughs>